Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to do an introduction into proximity prompts. So a proximity prompt is just an easy way to display a GUI whenever you want a player to interact with an object in your game. So for example, here I have a proximity prompt on this part here. So whenever the player gets close enough, it's going to show this little GUI here. And this prompt is super easy to customize. You can change which key you want the player to use to interact. You can change how long they have to press it. And you can also change the text on the GUI. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do in this example is insert a part into the game. After that, we're just going to insert a proximity prompt into this part. You can do that by clicking on the part and locating it in the Explorer menu. Then you're just going to click on the plus sign and click on proximity prompt, which is right down here. If you don't see it right away in this menu, you can type the name of it. So we're looking for a proximity prompt, and that should bring it up for you right here. If you click on the proximity prompt, it's going to bring up the properties that you can customize here. If you don't have the properties menu, you can find that in the view tab, and then just click on properties. So all these properties are what you're going to use to customize the look of your prompt. So starting from the top, you have the action text, which is going to be part of the text that gets displayed on the prompt. Another part that you'll likely want to change is the hold duration. So this is in seconds, so this is how long the player has to hold the key that you select to activate the prompt. Down below that is the letter they're going to use to interact. Next is the activation distance, so this is how close the players have to be to activate the prompt. So in this case, they would have to be within 10 studs before that prompt is going to show up. Object text is another piece of text that will show up on the prompt, and you can think of this like the object's name. And then you can use UI offset to move the prompt up or down or left to right, depending on where you want it to be located. There's a couple more properties that we haven't looked at yet, but that's enough to get us started. So let's go ahead and change some of these so we can see how it affects the prompt. So for the action text, I'm going to change it from interact to collect gold. Let's go ahead and change our hold duration to 1. I'm going to go ahead and leave the keyboard key to E. For activation distance, let's change that to 25. For the object text, I'll just say gold. And then for the UI offset, I'm going to move it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and try 50. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. There's no script that we need so far. This prompt is automatically going to pop up once your player gets within 25 studs. All right, I'm in the game, and you can see right now the prompts are not showing. Once I get a little bit closer, though, we see that this one pops up. This one has the activation distance of 25, so you can see I can be a little bit farther away from it, and it still pops up. Whereas this one on the right has an activation distance of 10, so I have to be a little bit closer before that one pops up. Just to identify some of the parts of this prompt, this part right here shows the user the key they have to press. This is the object text up at the top here, and this is the action text right below it. And then for the duration, you can see I have to hold it for one second before it completes. This one is a little bit lower because I set the UI offset to 50 for this one, and this one is set to 100. So depending on how big your part is and where you want the prompt to show, you may need to adjust those numbers. And one other property that you may want to consider using for this prompt is whether you want it to require line of sight. So the way this is going to work, if it's enabled, and my player is standing behind this wall here, the prompt is not going to show up, even if it's less than the activation distance. So they would have to have a clear line of sight to the part before the prompt shows up. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how that works. So if I get within the activation distance for this prompt, it shows up. But if the player loses line of sight on the part, it no longer shows up. So even though I'm close enough to the part where it should show up, it's not going to show up unless I can actually see the part. So that's just something to consider, especially if you want to hide the part. If it's behind a wall, it won't show up, and it's only going to show up once the player can actually see the part. So as far as the scripting for this example, the first thing I did was set up a leader stat script in the server script service. I've done this kind of script a lot in my other video, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. But basically, whenever a player joins the game, it's going to make leader stats for the player. And then the value that we're going to be adding to is gold. Now for the scripting for the proximity part, you're just going to add a script inside the part that you also have the prompt in. For this script, we're going to start by saying script dot parent. So that's a reference for the part. And then we're going to say dot proximity prompt. After that, we're going to say dot triggered colon connect. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put function. After function, we're going to put another set of parentheses. Inside of the set of parentheses next to function, we're going to put PLR, which is going to be short for player. 
and this is going to store the player that triggers the prompt. If you move your mouse in between the last two parentheses and then press enter, it should generate the end for you automatically. So what we want to happen whenever the player completes this prompt is we want to give them one gold. To do that, we're going to say PLR, which is going to stand for a player. We're going to access their leader stats. And then we're going to access their gold and change the value. And then if we want to add one to the gold value, we can say plus equals and one. All right, so that's all there is to it. So let's go and run the game and make sure it's working. All right, so if we go over to the part and hold E for one second, it's going to complete and give us one gold. If the player releases before it completes, nothing happens. So they have to hold it for the complete second for the prompt to complete and give the player the gold. All right, so that was just a very basic introduction into proximity prompts. Hopefully it was helpful. If there's anything else you want me to do with proximity prompts, just let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.